Brandon Love Sports TV. What's good, y'all? Shout out to the LDBC Lions Den basketball community. Let's talk. Let us talk. Uh, word on the street, and I watched it from a very credible source, Trevor Lane, Laker Nation podcast, uh, saying that LaDiva uh, James is not going to, well, that he's, 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 he's trying to get his, he's going to not, uh, I don't think, because he, he's out of contract, I don't know what he was talking about, I got, I think he said that LeBron James is after, he, he wants to renegotiate, this is what he said, he wants to renegotiate his contract with the Lakers, but this time with a no trade clause, the Lakers would be absolutely dumb to do that for a few reasons. First of all, <clears throat> a guy whose game is declining is on on, the, on a fast track of decline. Is trying to get more money out of the Lakers. First and foremost, trying to get that max resign with a max extension, and then he's trying to get a no trade clause. And honestly, I think the reason why, it's two reasons why I think he might be doing it. Number one, I think the main reason he's doing it is because he's trying to leverage himself to where he can get what he wants out of the deal. Like if like if y'all don't sign me, put, give me a no trade clause, then I'm gonna walk. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm going somewhere else. You know, I'm, I'm taking Bronny and we're going to go play somewhere else. Like, anybody really cares about that. But it is narcissistic mind. That's how he thinks. Like, if I make this move and I go somewhere else, then somehow y'all going to miss me. Y'all can't find them better than me. You know what I'm saying? Even those guys in year 21, be 22 by the end. And all this whole thing. So it's just like, he's not going to resign. In other words, if you don't give me that that max extension, or if you don't give me that no trade clause or the max extension, you can forget it. I'm not coming back. Secondly, I think he's doing that because he just simply he don't want to get traded because like all the 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 messy pool. And the next week, I'm going to do a live stream in a few minutes. I'm going to talk about how I'm going to go into detail about how I think the Lakers need to move on from LeBron James. I'm going to talk about really most of that video that I believe the Lakers are not going to make the playoffs. I've been saying it. I'm gonna do a whole live stream on that. So hold, hold on, hold the horses. I'm getting ready to. I'm going all the way. I'm just waiting till I get out of this area where I can't. I'm just gonna fi film this one because I'm on the, on the side of town because I live out in the country, kind of. So my, you know, my, uh, <clears throat> my um, internet. Inter <clears throat> excuse me, my internet is not great out here. So uh, I'm about to. As soon as I get, I'm going all the way in on, on this live stream. Then I'm going to do something tonight. I, I think I might hit the 2,000 subs tonight because last I checked, I was only six away. So I think we're going to hit that tonight. So we, we're going to go live late tonight and do a, do a, do a 2,000 subs edition. Y'all get to talk about whatever y'all want to do it. Talk about, try to get some of the bros on here, man. And we're going to go in, man. But, man, but yeah, man, LeBron James, like, he, he doesn't want that. that he, 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 doesn't, he don't want to get traded. That's the thing because he's, he's caused, caused so much mischief. And I think he realized, like, if he don't, if he don't have that no trade clause, he's gone. Cause I, I think I hope that Jeannie Buss and Rob Palenka have the have the, the guts and the balls to be like, you know what, you know what, you're not even worth it. At this stage of your career, it's not even worth putting up putting up with the mess. And I think he sees the handwriting on the wall. I think he realizes that he's expendable now. That he's not as as uh, quote unquote valuable as he used to be. So. You know, he knows he needs to walk that line. And if he starts acting out and doing all the same the dumb stuff he was doing last time, I think that the even if the, if the front office don't do it, I think the Lakers fan base, guys like me, because I'm going to be on here doing a, on a, a video on him every day. You think I was hard on him this season? He pulled that same mess he pulled last season. I'm like, I'm I'm going all the way in on this climb. And I think he realized that that accountability is what's is going to make him, you know, like either, and he, he knows he can't walk that line so he needs to use use this for leverage and he has to stop uh, try to force the Lakers organization to not have the option of trading him so once again it's LeBron James being LeBron being the diva that he is being the clown being the narcissist nothing changes Mr. La Narrative 
So, all right, y'all. Brand Love Sports TV. Y'all, y'all be looking out for that live stream because I'm about to go live in a few minutes. It's your boy. I'm out. Peace.